So you're a renter, you've come across the built credit card and you've got some questions about it. In this video, I'm gonna be covering everything you need to know about the built MasterCard. Specifically, I'm gonna give you a clear picture of exactly what it is the built card provides. I'm gonna give you a clear rundown of all of the benefits that built card holders have at their disposal. And I'm gonna tell you exactly what you must know before deciding whether or not the built card is right for you. So make sure you stick around till the end. So diving right into things, what exactly is the built card? Well, a lot of people have claimed that the built card is the best credit card for renters. And so let's dive into exactly why that might be the case. On the surface, the big thing to know about the built card is that you earn 1x points back on all rent payments. Now, this is pretty big because if you are somebody who has ever tried to pay your rent with a credit card before, you might know that it can be pretty difficult. A lot of landlords don't accept credit card as a method of payment. And those that do oftentimes charge anywhere up to say a 3% fee to facilitate that payment, which quickly is going to eliminate any kind of potential credit card rewards you might be earning. So Built is here with a potential solution to this problem that lets you uh, build credit from your rent while also earning credit card rewards in the process. So you're going to be getting 1x points back on rent transactions. And then in addition to that, you're also going to get 2x points back on travel when booked directly with the airline, hotel, or rental car agency, and 3x points on all dining purchases. All of that is available with a $0 annual fee. So on the surface, seems pretty good, but there is actually some fine print you're going to want to be aware of, which we'll dive into a little bit later. Now, before we dive into those things you're going to want to watch out for, let's talk about how the built card actually works. Now, off the bat, you can use it just like any other credit card normally at any place that you shop, but where things get interesting is when it comes to rent. Now, the claim that they make on their website is that any renter in the US can use their built card to pay their rent, which is a pretty broad claim. And on top of that, they're not going to have to pay any fee to do so. So how does this work? Well, in order to pay rent, a lot of landlords are going to charge a credit card processing fee because um, as you may or may not know, it's not free for a merchant to accept a credit card payment. Typically, they have to pay some fees. And so in the case of landlords, if they're going to allow you to use a credit card at all, oftentimes they're going to pass those fees along to you. Again, typically around 3%. Now, Built basically allows you to get around these fees by giving you something that is called a Built Rent Account. And basically what this does is it generates an account number and a routing number for you that you can use to pay your rent. Then on the back end, Built's got some fancy mechanics set up that allow that money to come from your credit card. So you're essentially using your credit card to pay your rent, but there's this intermediary account that Built sets up for you uh, so that you're able to just give your landlord an account and routing number. To them, it looks like a bank transfer, but to you, it feels like a credit card payment and you're earning those 1% rewards in the process. So so this is also going to help you out if your landlord does not accept a credit card. And even if they need a paper check, Built will actually send out a paper check on your behalf. Again, to you, it'll look like a credit card transaction, but to your landlord, they're receiving that paper check in the mail. So if they're doing things old school, uh, you can still get those rewards and make your rent payment on your Built card. Now, there's also kind of a nifty feature called Built Protect, which can be good for you uh, if your rent payment potentially makes up a large portion of your credit limit. So let's say, uh, Built extends you a credit line of $5,000 and your rent each month is $4,000. Well, normally an 80% utilization is not going to look very good to the credit bureau. So what Built Protect allows you to do is to pay your rent, again, quote unquote, using your Built card, but they'll link up directly with your bank account so that that $4,000 is not coming through your credit limit. So it's not going to look like you're spending four out of $5,000 available on your Built card. Instead, that money is going to kind of buy past your credit limit. And so it's not going to rack up your utilization rate on your credit report. And then when it comes to rewards, there is one special day out of the month where Built is going to be giving you some extra special rewards. Now, this is going to be the first of the month. They call this rent day. And so on rent day, there are a few different perks that you're going to want to be aware of. The first of which is that they're going to double the points that you earn on that day. So all spending that you do on the first, excluding your rent payment. So with your rent payment, you're not going to be getting double points on that transaction, but say you make some dining purchases, instead of getting three X points on those, on rent day, you're gonna get six X points on those, and with travel, instead of two X points, you're getting four X points, but this is gonna be capped at 10,000 points on every first of the month. On top of those double points, there are also a variety of other benefits. These tend to change from month to month, but can be things like lift credits, bonus point redemptions on popular sites like Amazon, free soul cycle classes, and a whole bunch of other things that again, tend to vary 
vary from month to month. So again, so far so good. Now, just a few more perks and benefits to run through before we dive into the fine print that you're going to want to be aware of. First, let's talk about built points. So you might be wondering, okay, I'm earning these built points on all my transactions. Are these actually worth anything? Well, according to bankrate.com, which is a pretty reliable source for information when it comes to credit cards, credit card rewards, etc., built points are actually ranked as the most valuable points currency ahead of Chase Ultimate Reward Points and American Express Membership Reward Points, which are two of the most popular reward programs out there. Now, I can attest to this myself. I am a built user myself, and these points are extremely valuable. One of the reasons for this is because of all the transfer partners that Built has. Now, traditionally, if you want to transfer your points from, uh, say, Chase Ultimate Rewards out to a transfer partner, you're going to need a more uh, premium credit card that typically comes with an annual fee. These are some of the best ways to redeem your points. And so many people find that paying an annual fee for access to these transfer partners is pretty worth it. But with Built, you don't need to do that, okay? You're getting access to these transfer partners with no annual fee needed, which is a pretty handy perk that can allow you to score some really solid point redemptions and allow you to really get a lot more value out of your points than just exchanging them for cash. So if you wanna do things like book flights or travel to different hotels, uh, built points can be a great way for you to do so. And there's a lot of ways for you to redeem your points very effectively. The built card also offers cell phone protection up to $800 in value if something were to happen to you your phone. This is subject to a $25 deductible, and you've got to be paying your phone bill with your built card in order to get this perk. Given that it is a travel card, it also comes with trip cancellation and trip delay insurance. So if you do book some travel with your built card, you score that 2x points. Uh, and something does happen where your trip gets delayed by more than six hours or it gets canceled altogether, you're going to be able to receive some potential compensation for those situations. And then as a travel card as well, there's also no foreign transaction fee, which again, for a zero annual fee card is a pretty attractive perk. But now let's dive into the fine print because there are some things that you're really going to want to be aware of before deciding to get this built card. The first of which is that you're going to need to make at least five transactions per month in order to earn your full points. That means you're going to need to have five individual transactions on your card every calendar month. Otherwise, you are going to receive reduced or no points in some cases. Now with rent, for example, if you don't make those five transactions in a month, instead of getting one point per dollar spent on rent that month, you're just going to get a flat 250 points. So if your rent is again, $4,000, but you don't make those five transactions, instead of getting 4,000 points, you're only going to get 250 points. You're also limited to 100,000 points from rent per calendar year. So you're not able to earn over 100,000 points when paying for rent. This equates to a rent of about $8,333 per month. So for most people, this limit is not really going to come into play. Now on the low side, if your rent is under $250 per month, you are still going to earn 250 points. So if your rent is say $175 per month, but you put it on your build card, you're still gonna earn those 250 points. If for some odd reason you pay your rent multiple times per month, you're only going to be able to get credit for one rent payment per property per month when it comes to earning points. So pretty uncommon scenario, but just important to be aware of depending on your individual circumstances. And then lastly, there is currently no sign up bonus on the build card, which is one area that could potentially be improved. Oftentimes when I'm getting a new credit card, I want to look out for something that has a good sign up bonus so that I make sure that I'm able to get rewarded with that new card. Currently, this is not something that build offers, but they very well could in the future. So all that to say, who is the build card really for? Well, in my opinion, if you're a renter, the build card is the best way to earn rewards for paying your rent. There's no other card on the market designed the way the built card is and engineered in such a way that you're going to be able to earn points very easily on your rent without having to pay any pesky transaction fees. On top of that, the other categories are quite competitive for a zero annual fee card and the rent day perks are pretty attractive as well. It's super exciting when every month you have something to look forward to and potentially, you know, getting those various 
these perks, whether it be lift credits or, or other kinds of things like that, is pretty exciting with a card that you're not paying any annual fee for. And again, to get access to the kind of transfer partners that Built has, typically you're going to be looking at a card with an annual fee. So it's really exciting that you're able to access those with the Built card. All in all, I think the Built card is a really solid all around credit card for somebody who rents and is looking to maximize their credit card rewards. Now, if you want to sign up for the card and support the channel, please consider using the link in the description below. It really does help us out. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.